My name is Mary Rafferty. I'm the Executive Director of the Virginia Conservation Network. Today we're going to talk about the VCN General Assembly process. The Virginia Conservation Network is a partnership of 160 conservation organizations. The positions that we take during the General Assembly are not positions that VCN as a staff take, but instead the positions of the collective environmental community taken by our 160 network partners and lifted up through the conservation network. So at the beginning of session, we go through and we track every single bill that could possibly impact wildlife, clean water, land conservation, or climate. Once we've taken a position on a bill, we make that information public on our website for lawmakers, for the public, and for anybody else who is interested in taking action on conservation. Every December, VCN hosts a General Assembly preview. This event is an opportunity to hear from leading conservation advocates about what the top issues they expect to hear during the General Assembly are going to be. Then from there, we encourage both our partners as well as members of the public to talk to their lawmakers about the issues that they care about the most before the General Assembly actually begins. Once we get to January, we host an annual Conservation Lobby Day. This Lobby Day is an opportunity for members of the public and our partners from across the Commonwealth to come here to Richmond to talk directly with their lawmakers and to hear from them about the key issues that they care about. Through this collective voice, we're able to make an impact on some of the biggest issues dealing with clean water, climate change, resilience, and wildlife. Our collective voice is what makes conservation policy as strong as possible. We are 160 partners working for collective action on the environment. And it is with a shared voice through a common agenda that we are able to cut through all of the other things that lawmakers are hearing about in order to ensure that they take real leadership on conservation issues when they have the opportunity to every winter during the General Assembly session. And it is through phone calls and emails from individuals like yourself that allow them to see how important it is to continue to protect our environment from some of the biggest sources of pollution that they face today. Thank you so much for taking some time to learn a little bit more about the BCN legislative process. Uh, if you want more content and more information, you can check out VCN's YouTube page.